If you've ever wondered why some Shopify stores blow up with sales while others barely get a few clicks, this video is exactly what you need to watch. Here's the thing. Every successful Shopify store has its own DNA, a combination of design, products, apps, and strategies that just work. And the best part, you don't have to guess what the formula is. You can reverse engineer it. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step step how to uncover Shopify dropshipping stores that are already generating tens of thousands of dollars every month and how to see the hidden data Shopify doesn't show publicly, like their top selling products, the apps they use, and the marketing strategies behind their success. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to replicate what works, skip months of trial and error, and position your own store for faster and more predictable success. All right, let's dive into how to find these successful stores and decode their winning formula. So let's start with the basics. What's the real idea behind finding other Shopify dropshipping stores that match your current or future online business. It's simple. Every store has its own DNA. Some stores crack the code. They figure out exactly how to run an effective, profitable operation, while others just don't. And here's the secret. By replicating the insights and techniques from those successful stores, you can skip a huge part of the testing phase and start scaling much faster. Now, you might be asking yourself, what kind of insights can you actually get from successful stores? Using Zeek Analytics, you can easily easily identify top performing Shopify stores and reveal data Shopify doesn't publicly share like their top selling products sales volume, their traffic and marketing strategies for both organic and paid ads, and even the Shopify apps they're using to boost conversions. As you can see, replicating what already works is one of the smartest approaches in e-commerce. So let me show you exactly how to find these successful Shopify stores. Extract their best insights and position your business for faster growth and real success. Okay, so let's open Zeek Analytics and start with the first method to find top performing dropshipping stores. So we can take the best insights from them. From this, I'll use the store finder tool. This feature lets you discover Shopify dropshipping stores from Zeek's massive database. And the best part, you can see all their hidden data and understand exactly what's working for them. Now, let's set up the filters. First, under store type, I'll select dropshipping. Next, in the search by keyword section, you'll want to enter the niche of your current or future store. Here's a quick tip. Keep your keywords general. For example, if you're dropshipping sport shoes, just type shoes. That way, you'll get a wider range of relevant stores to analyze. And finally, to focus only on successful dropshipping stores generating real results, I'll set the minimum revenue for the past 30 days to $15,000 and then hit search. Okay, so now I see several stores that match our requirements. In this method, we're going to divide the analysis into two phases. Phase one, understanding the back end of the store, what their best selling products are, what apps they use, and all the hidden data Shopify doesn't normally show. Phase two, analyzing the visible part, the design, branding, and social media operation. So let's go ahead and start with phase one. We'll focus on this store called beesme.com. For a quick overview, I can already see a few interesting things. This store has 328 active products. It's a dropshipping store that drives traffic from Meta and Instagram, both organically and through paid ads. And check this out. In just the past 30 days, this store sold 725 products, generating over $53,000 in revenue. Okay, so now I'm interested. I want to understand what makes this store so successful and to see what I can learn from it. For that, I'll click on 
the detective icon, which takes us into the store sales tracker. And this is where the deep dive begins. Here we can see a complete x-ray of the store, including the top products that generate most of its sales and revenue, and even an option to source those same products directly from AliExpress. Let's start by reviewing the Shopify apps this store uses to achieve such strong results. I see two apps installed, Snapchat ads and judge.me product reviews. The first one is interesting. They're driving targeted traffic from Snapchat, which isn't usually the first platform you'd think of for selling shoes. That's a great insight right there. And the second app, judge.me, helps boost conversions by showing real customers reviews. Solid choice for improving trust and user experience. Now, here's something really interesting. When I looked deeper into their product selection, I noticed a very smart strategy that you can apply to your own store. If we review the shoes they sell, they look premium, clean product images, strong composition, and consistent branding. To be honest, it almost makes me doubt whether they're even sourcing from a traditional dropshipping supplier like AliExpress. Can you see it? Every shoe listing has high quality professional images, and that's exactly how you take a low cost dropshipping product and sell it at a premium price. Okay, so now we have a much better idea of this successful dropshipping store's backend. We've seen its best-selling products, the Shopify apps it uses, and even the theme behind the design. Now, here's where things get really interesting. If I want to create a dropshipping store similar to this one, instead of randomly listing products and hoping something sells, I can be strategic. I'll simply add the top performing products from this store, the ones that sold more than 20 units or more in the past 30 days. That way, I'm building my catalog around items that are already proven to sell. And here's a tip I personally like to use. Once I find a store like this, I save it to my favorites inside Zeke and rename it something like Great Shoes Dropshipping Store. And then I rank it five stars and each week, I can check back to see which new products are rising in sales. And just like that, I can keep adding fresh trending items to my current or future store. Yeah. I like to work smarter, not harder. Okay, now let's go one step further. Let's see if we can source these same products from AliExpress and most importantly, whether we can still keep a strong profit margin. So let's focus on two top products from this store. I'll click the item finder icon and let's look for an exact match for the first one. Okay, I see a few perfect matches. Let's go with this one. And can you see that? It's the exact same product and it can be sourced for just $27.96 with free shipping. The original dropshipping store sold 37 units of this item in the past 30 days for $59.99 each, which means about a 53% profit margin. That's around $30 of profit per sale. That's an incredible find. Now let's check the best selling products from this store. I can see that it sold 43 times in the past 30 days with a selling price of $39.99. So I'll repeat the same process. I'll click on the item finder and once again, I see several exact matches for this product. And let's go with this one right here. And amazing, the sourcing price is only $10.23 with free shipping included. And even better, the product has solid reviews on AliExpress, which means it's reliable and high quality. That gives us a 74% profit margin or about $28 of profit per sale after Shopify fees. That's a fantastic margin for any dropshipping product. And this is exactly the idea, replicating the success of stores that already have cracked the code. But don't stop at just one store. Analyze multiple successful stores, take their best practices and top performing products and build your own store that's data-driven, not guesswork.
Okay, so if you're enjoying this video so far, it would really help the channel a lot by the end of this video if you hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. And if you want to use the same product research tool I'm using here to access hidden Shopify stores data, you can start with Zeek Analytics for just $1 for the first week. Okay, so we're done with the first phase of our dropshipping store research, which is revealing all the hidden data that Shopify doesn't share. Now let's move to the second phase, the data that's visible to everyone. This includes the visual side of the store, things like design, theme, and social media presence. And I believe there's a lot to learn from this part too. So let's start by reviewing this store visually. I'll click on the store link and let's see what insights we can take from here to apply to our own store. Whenever I start reviewing a store, I like to begin with the announcement bar because it's one of the most important real estate areas for any online store. It gives you a quick idea of how the store tries to increase its cart value and convert visitors into buyers. Here I can see they're promoting holiday sale 80% off plus free shipping for all. That's a clever strategy. It immediately creates a sense of urgency which pushes visitors to take action. In general, these kind of big discount banners work really well for fashion and apparel stores, and combining them with free shipping makes the offer even more powerful. Now, let's look at the hero image. And I love what I see here. It clearly showcases shoes, so visitors instantly know what the store is selling. They've also featured their best sellers really well, and I especially like how hovering over the product shows different variations of the same shoe. That's a super smart move for any fashion-based store. Then right before the reviews section, which by the way, we already know is powered by judge.me, I notice a highlighted product placed on the homepage. Now this can mean one of two things. Either this product is one of their best sellers and they want to emphasize it, or it has a high High profit margin, which makes it worth featuring front and center. Either way, when you see a product displayed like that, it's a clear signal that it's worth checking out. Now moving on to the menu bar. As you can see, it's clean, simple, and well organized. They've included categories like best sellers, new arrivals, and order tracking, which are great additions for any dropshipping store, especially those with a large product catalog. But here's something that really caught my eye. The tab labeled get $20 coupon. When I clicked it, I found something really smart. The store actually encourages visitors to follow them on Facebook and share a photo wearing one of their shoes, tagging the brand in exchange for a $20 coupon. This tells me two things. First, Facebook is clearly one of their major traffic sources. And second, they're actively building UGC, which stands for user generated content directly from their customers. That's a brilliant idea. And since we already know the store works with high profit margins, offering a $20 coupon isn't hurting their profitability at all, but it's massively boosting engagement and reach. Lastly, in our visual review of the store, we need to take a look at the product pages. And this part is really important. For example, I can see that the product page is clean, simple, and easy to understand. All the key information is right there. No unnecessary clutter or confusion. It doesn't look like any special coding or advanced customization was needed either, which is great news for anyone starting out. And based on the data we saw earlier for this store, it's clear that even a simple, well-structured product page like this one is more than enough to generate high sales and strong conversions. Now, to completely understand this store's design, and in case you don't have a dropshipping store yet or want to create one that replicates a successful model like this, knowing what Shopify theme the store is using is a powerful move. Think of it as part of the store's DNA for success. This store clearly figured out which theme drives the best conversions, and that's a key factor 
in its performance. It might sound like a small detail, but in our strategy of reverse engineering successful stores, it's a step that makes a big difference. So if you look up here, I can see that this store is using a theme called Prestige. And if you want to check what theme any Shopify store is using, you can simply go to Zeek Analytics free tool, the Shopify theme detector. Just enter the store's URL and it will instantly show you the name of the theme. From there, simply Google the theme name and add Shopify theme next to it and you'll find the right one right away ready to explore or even use for your own store setup so we can say that when it comes to understanding this store's operation and dna we're definitely there we now have a full picture of how the store works what makes it convert and why it's successful. Now, the last step is to understand how this store generates targeted traffic that actually converts into sales. For this part, we'll take a look at the store's social media operation. From what I see in Zeke Analytics, this store has been identified as using two organic social media channels and one paid ads platform. And the idea here is pretty straightforward. You simply review each of these social channels, check which posts or videos got the most engagement, and then replicate the style and concept of those successful posts for your own store. From what I can tell after a quick review, the posts that perform the best are actually quite simple. They just show the shoes in a real life situation. And that's a great reminder that in e-commerce, authenticity and relatability often outperform overproduced content. So there you have it. We just reverse engineered a real successful Shopify store from top to bottom. And here's the key takeaway. Success leaves clues. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. You just need to find what's already working, understand why it works and apply those same principles to your own store. That is the power of data. And that's exactly what tools like Zeek Analytics give you. Instead of guessing, you can make informed decisions backed by real numbers, real sales, and real results. So if you're ready to build your own winning Shopify store and skip the long trial and error phase, now is the time to take action. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more e-commerce strategies, and as always, keep moving forward and I will see you in the next one.